crowd of the year here at the Lucas County Arena, and they were rocking early. Adam Hobson made it one nothing, Matt. Yeah, that had the crowd going over 8,000 here at Lucas County Arena. They liked that, but uh, I didn't think it could possibly get worse tonight than it was last night. But as soon as you're done looking at these highlights, Matt, you're going to know that it was worse because the final score was 8-2 to two instead of 7-2. to two. And uh, Toledo did not play well at home this weekend. You're right. Chance to salvage some points tomorrow in Kalamazoo, but in the walleye, that's as bad as I've seen them play. Yeah, not a good night tonight for Toledo. They did get a goal late in the game from Dominic Osman for the second. Then Lowry just ended any momentum that Toledo was trying to get in that third period. Ended to a couple of fisticuffs in that third period, but ultimately it was the Elmira Jackals pulling away from Toledo tonight as they defeat the Walleye by a count of eight to two. Walleye will be back on the home ice coming up on February 12th and 13th. The Cincinnati Cyclones in town, followed by the Kalamazoo Wings. Great seats available, 419-725-WALL or online at ToledoWalleye.com. For my broadcast partner, Matt Crandall, and our entire crew, my name is Matt Milzak. Again, your final score, Elmira 8, Toledo 2.